There are many different settings that you can change on your Chromebook and most of those are accessible from the system tray down in the lower right hand corner. So if I move my mouse down there and click where you see the time, your battery status and Wi-Fi status, you'll see a variety of different options. Up at the top you can sign out of your account. So if I wanted to allow somebody else to sign into my Chromebook or use the guest mode, I could do that and click sign out. I can also see which Wi-Fi network I'm connected to and if I wanted to connect to a different Wi-Fi network, for example if I went to uh, Panera Bread or Starbucks or I was at my own house, I can click that and I'll see available Wi-Fi networks. Now if you don't see the one that you want to connect to listed there, you do have the option to do join other. So I could actually type in the name of the network and the password and connect that way as well. Your Chromebook does have Bluetooth, so I could conceivably connect a Bluetooth keyboard or mouse or another uh, device, and I can do that from the Bluetooth settings there. And then underneath is where you will see options for an external display that you're connected to. So if you plug your Chromebook into a monitor, into a television, or if you're connected to a projector, you can switch between an extended desktop, so you would actually have two desktops or two uh, spaces to work from or you can change it to mirrored mode and I'm also going to see options for uh, Chromecast devices so if you have a Chromecast plugged in to uh, again a projector or TV or if you have something like reflector 2 which is what I'm using I will see the option to share my entire screen uh, from this menu as well down at the bottom here, you can power off and completely shut off your Chrome device. And I can also lock my screen. So if I'm going to walk away from my Chromebook for a while, I want to leave it on my desk, I don't want somebody else looking at my work, I can click that button. For all the additional settings, I'm going to click the settings button here with the gear. And that'll open up the settings menu. And there's three main sections that we're going to focus on. You'll see there's appearance so I can set the wallpaper for my Chromebook. I can also get themes and themes are just another way of customizing the look and feel of your Chromebook and those are available in the Chrome Web Store. I can change device settings from here so I can change my touchpad speed. I have touchpad settings, keyboard settings, and display settings and again that's where I can change how I am using external display so I can either mirror my screen or extend my desktop. And then the other one that I want to point out is if I scroll down below there, you can see people and here's where you can manage your Chrome sync settings. So if you are signed into Chrome on other devices like your desktop or laptop, you can change your Chrome sync settings here and choose what you are syncing between your different instances of Chrome. So I can sync my apps, my bookmarks, my extensions. Now I'm not syncing my passwords. Uh, but you can, of course, do that. And the beauty of this is that anytime you sign into another Chromebook or another device with a Chrome browser, all of those same things will sync over so you can be up and running uh, within several seconds, if not minutes. So that's an overview of the different settings that you'll find on your Chromebook.